Now we're going to talk about template variables. The ModX content management system has a couple of ways for you to add custom content. What we generally do at Walker Designs is we try to create a single space for you to add all that custom content. So let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at an example template variable. So let's click on our sample subpage and you'll see all the normal views that you get. Some example content and then at the top we have our template variable tab. If we click on that we have one result here which is an images category and then we have a slideshow. When we click on template variables we see one entry and it's under the category of images and it says create a slideshow here. So this shows me that I have two images that I can use for my slideshow. Let's see how we can edit these. First thing we'll do is we'll add a brand new one. So if I click on add item it opens up a new window and I've got three options to fill in. Title, caption, and an image. And this can be anything. If you have products in here, it could be um, a category to select from. It could be tick boxes for colors, sizes, etc. But for now, let's keep it simple and do a title. So we'll do image title. So we'll do image title. We'll do an example caption for the image. And then we'll select an image. When I click on this, it opens up the Monix browser. And I'll just select the first one here. And I've got my image, it tells me the name of it, and there's an example picture of it or a thumbnail. Click done, and there it is. Just that straightforward. Now, if I want to go in and say, oh, you know what, I realize I wanted to name this something different, I right click and select edit. Opens up the same window, and I can just change the title there, press done, and there it is. Now it's changed. One clever thing that you can do with adding content in this way is that you can resort them or sort them in an easy manner. If I just click on this, I can pick it up and put it at the top. If I want example slide two to be at the top, I simply click and let go at the top. And that resorts all of that content. Now, if I want to get rid of one of them, let's say this example slide I'm not a fan of, I want to delete it, I right click again and I go to remove. Sure you want to remove it? Yes. Good, now it's gone. Now remember, none of this goes into play or goes into effect until I press save. Now if I press it, if I add another item, this is something to keep in mind. If I add another item and I press done. It's actually added an empty item, which we don't want because it'll add uh, a potential big empty hole in your site, which uh, is not going to help anybody. So what we want to do is if we do have an empty space in here, we want to click on that and remove it. You can also use, obviously, duplicate. So it'll duplicate the entire uh, entry, press done, and I've got two of exactly the same name and with exactly the same caption with exactly the same image. Sometimes this will help you duplicate content that might be complex. Uh, generally, it might speed things up for you as well. Just keep in mind that if you duplicate it, every single thing will be exactly the same. So you'll need to go in and update this, this, or at least the image. So let's just remove that. And when I'm done, I make sure to press save and then I know it's been changed. And then I can go to the front end of the website to view it to see if it's, if it's been changed. That's how you create and edit template variables. Um, they offer a really useful way to create custom content that you can always go in and edit and update to keep your site fresh.